My name is Scott Gamera. I'm from Wisconsin. I'm a mink farmer and I am also president of the American Mink Council. I'm a second generation farmer. My dad started our ranch in uh, actually right after World War II he started and so I grew up on the farm uh, and that once it's in your blood tough to get rid of it. It's just, just the way it is. The true animal lovers are the mink ranchers because we care for the animal. We make sure it, it's born. We make sure it's well taken care of. It eats better than some humans around the world. And we, we pour our soul into it. A typical day on my mink ranch, um, you get up early with, with the sun, um, take care of the family needs first and the children, <laughs> you do all that first, then, then you go out and take care of whatever time of year you're in that needs to be taken care of at that time. Uh, you always make sure your water is operating, uh, the water is clean. Uh, if it's a day where you're supposed to feed right away, you take care of the feed. Um, you keep, uh, keep the place looking nice, mow the grass, uh, haul the manure. Um, it's a constant, you, you never caught up. You, it's a constant thing that you're just always doing. And whatever you don't finish, you get on tomorrow. It's time consuming. It's, um, that's why you have to, if you're going to be involved in raising mink, you have to have a passion for it because you're, you're putting everything you have into it, heart, soul, you name it. It's, and the end product will show that. What I'd like to say to the woman who's purchasing my pelts in a garment, I would like to have her be rest assured that the mink were taken care of properly. They were cared for, fed well, the attention given to them is unmatched, in, in my opinion. Um, and to have no, no regrets about purchasing it or wearing it, then be proud of what you're wearing. Uh, because it was, I was proud to grow it.